Sprichst du Deutsch? Dann klick auf diese Fahne. Do you speak English? Then click on this flag. Parles-tu français? Alors clique sur ce drapeau. Excellent. Millie Meter and her adventures in the oak tree. A learning game about nature. Have you chosen a leaf yet? If so, then click on it and you can carry on playing where you left off last time. If not, then choose a leaf now. Great! Let's get started! Oh, what's that? <coughs> hey, who are you? Me? The name's Twitch and I live here. This ancient old tree has got to go. I want to put down a beautiful traditional English lawn here. What? You can't just cut down that lovely old oak tree. It's still got lots of life in it. Lots of life? What sort of life is there in an old tree like this? It's nothing but dead wood. And who are you anyway? My name's Millimetre and I can prove there's life in this tree. Oh yeah, and how are you going to do that? Give me some time and I'll bring you photos as proof. Okay, if you bring me ten photographs that prove absolutely that there's life in the old tree, then I'll spare it. Thank you. Right, okay then. See you later. Don't forget, ten photographs and not a single picture left. Hello, Millimeter. I'm Eric the Red Squirrel. I happen to hear your conversation just now. If you like, I'll show you round this tree. Oh, would you? That would be great! My heliball can take me wherever I need to go. With it, I can even make myself smaller to have a good look at really tiny things. That's clever. So you can go over this old oak with a fine-tooth comb and take lots of photos. And guess what? There are six exciting games hidden in the tree, too. Great! But first, you've got to take a photo of me. Of course! Aha! Eric, Prince of the Forest. So, let's make a start. You could begin down here on the ground, if you like. Or you can fly up a bit and have a look at the trunk of the oak. Or you can start all the way up there, in the tree top. Have fun, and, um, <laughs> good luck! Mm, it's nice and cool here on the ground at the foot of the tree. Yes, when the tree's developed all its leaves, it gets very shady down here. It's lovely here! But what can I take a photo of? There's nothing here apart from us two. I beg your pardon? Take a look around you. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Ah, Miss Mushroom is doing herself up. Um, which do you think is more me? Are you off somewhere special? I've got a rendezvous with one of the oak roots. I can hardly bring myself to say it, but, but where is love? Is the coast clear? Or is one of those awful birds of prey waiting to get me? It's only me, Millimeter. I'm visiting the tree.
Well, that's nature for you. Eat and be eaten. A hedgehog! I'd better get a quick photo. Say cheese! Hey, good work, Millimeter. You managed to get a photo of a hedgehog. That was lucky. Normally they only come out at night. Thanks for the photo, Mr. Hedgehog. See you! It would be a rare privilege if you would be so good as to visit my humble abode underground. I'd love to! Hello there, Miss Meter. May I introduce myself? Ludovic Lumbricus Worm. I had heard tell of your visit. Do have a good look round down here in my underground dwelling. Thanks, I intend to. Smells like forest soil. Yes, indeed, Miss Meter. This is a lady by the name of Actinomyceti, or Ray Fungus, in charge of forest soil scents and smells. I am the worm called Lambricus, Lilo Ludovic Lambricus. My work is feeding plants, and sometimes I have to get up and dance. Oh, Miss Mita, that's the most intricate game you've discovered there. Dear, it's pouring with rain. That's going to make the passages in the earthworm's home very muddy. Help him find his way through this confusing maze out to the surface, hmm? But hurry, if a passage collapses, you can't use it anymore, and you'll have to find another way. You can show the worm which direction to go in by clicking. If you want the standard maze, then click on the one. Have you got the nerve to try a more complicated maze? Then click here on the two. Now show the earthworm the way out. Oh, we're running out of time. Ooh, it's pretty damp down there. Well done, you did it. Do you think you could manage it a bit faster? Click here to go back to the previous scene. Hello, Miss Meter. Hello, Mr. Lumbricus. Springtails are great acrobats, and they do good work. Wherever they are, they shred all the old leaves. That's worth a photo. Springtails looping the loop. Nice work, Miss Meter. That's a very passable likeness. Hey, this leads inside the root. Absolutely correct, Miss Meter. Enjoy yourself. Who are you? 
The name's Smith Wurzel. Sandy Smith Wurzel. But round here, everybody calls me Rooty. I work down here in the root. My name's Millie Meter. I'm learning all about the oak tree. Good for you. Millie Meter, eh? Smart name for a smart girl. Hey, Millie love, you've discovered one of the games. Do you know which animals live where in the tree? Each one lives at a particular level. The ground, the trunk, or the treetop. Use your mouse to drag and drop the animals to where they live. When you think you found all the right homes, click on the nameplate. OK? Then click here and off you go. The butter hawk. The squirrel. The bark beetle. Oh, absolutely brilliant. You obviously know your way around the wood. Well, how about another round? There's a maggot trying to gnaw at my root. But it won't have reckoned with the airborne police. Any minute now, the robin will fly by, and pick, 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 gobble at the maggot. Brilliant! That's definitely worth a photo. Nice one. Caught red-breasted. The robber with the booty in its beak. An excellent photograph. Some sugary water from his mushroom, with Rooty's best wishes. We love to give each other presents, Miss Mushroom and I. I'm just going to fly around outside for a while. Go on then, push off. But drop in again soon, won't you? I'm just going to pop upstairs. Thank you for honouring me with a visit, Miss Meter. Hello, Millie Meter. Hello, Eric. I think I'll go up one floor. fun with Gregory. <laughs> it's a bit too exposed for me out here on the trunk all day long. Hmm. Phew! This is pretty steep. Oh, not another fan. Hang on tight, dude! Don't worry. Who are you, by the way? You mean you don't know who I am? I'm Gregory Pecker, the well-known drummer and band leader. Oh, I see. And I'm Millie Meter, the well-known explorer. I'm investigating the oak tree. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, no one will find me here. <laughs> that nuthatch thinks he's the bee's knees. Just because he's the only one that can climb upside down. And then he goes and nicks the tastiest bits right from under my beak. Hey, I like him. I'd better get a photo. 
if you really think so. What a poser that nut hatch is. Oh well, I suppose it is quite a good picture. Oh, this leads under the bark. I think I'd better have a look. OK, man. Take it easy. Hey, what's going on? Building site. No unauthorised access. Please don't get upset. It's only me, Millimeter. I just wanted to have a look round. Well, all right. Just this once, I suppose. My name's Dave. I'm in charge of this building site under the bark. Did you know that corks are made from bark? Not from my bark, you understand, but from the bark of the cork oak. They grow in Mediterranean areas. Really? Really. The bark is peeled off and then corks are punched out of it. Ha! Gotcha! My bark beetle trap is working just perfectly. This little sapsucker thinks he can feast on my freshly produced wood, does he? Wait a second. Let me take a photo. A farewell photo for the bark beetle. <laughs> Bye! Mmm, <laughs> it's alright for you. You can play for a while. Oh, I have to keep on working. Yummy acorns falling in abundance. You've just got to be quick, that's all. Are you quick enough to help me catch them before they hit the ground? Use these two arrows to show me which direction to run in. But be careful, the pine martin's after me. One quick click on the bush and I can hide there. If you want to make the game a bit easier, click on the one. If you want a fast game, then click on the two. Off we go! Millimeter! And hello to you too, Dave. Ah, I think I'll fly in here. Oh, hello. Make yourself at home. It's easy to grow old here in the wood. My name's Jack, Jack Lumber, but uh, you can call me whatever you like. My name's Millimeter. I'm having a look round this oak tree. Hello, Grandpa Jack. Hmm, Grandpa, I like that. I'm 
not having his sort in here. Has it come to this? This is a no-go area for stag beetles. <sighs> they lay their eggs in dead wood, you see. But I'm not dead yet, not by a long jog. What a practical chap. I think I'll get a picture of him for my collection. So you see, even dead trees have their uses. An excellent portrait of a stag beetle millimeter. Mm. These are supposed to be my winter stores. You see, it's the leaves of the tree that provide it with all the energy it needs to grow big and strong. But by winter, all the leaves have fallen to the ground, so the tree has to rely on its winter stores. What's that? That's a cross-section of a tree trunk. That's what a tree looks like when you saw through it. The outermost layer is the bark. The building site is also called the cambium. It's to be found right between bark and wood. That's where Dave and his lads work. They make sure that the trunk grows thicker and thicker and thicker. And this is where we are now. With young wood, the water still flows through to the leaves. This is old wood. The pipes have all been shut down. No water flows anymore. Ah, you found one of the games, Millimeter. Don't get the wool pulled over your eyes. Now this is where it gets tricky. You have to decide what's true and what's utter piffle. If you think what I say is true, then click here. If you think what I say is utter rubbish, then click here. If you want to know more, then click on the birdhouse. If you want to hear the question again, click on my tummy. If you haven't any idea, you can guess. Or you can have another look round the oak tree. Shall we start? Then click here. If you boil tree sap for two weeks, you get treacle. Jays plant little oak trees. True, Jays stockpile acorns in different places. And if they don't find them again, new trees may grow from them. In a tree nursery, young children learn only about trees. Roots are only there to make sure trees don't fall over. You can tell trees apart by their bark. Exactly. Each tree has its own bark pattern. Forest soil doesn't smell of anything. Some plants grow on trees. In the old days, people danced on trees. They certainly did. A dance floor made of planks was put down on the thickest horizontal branches. Well, you don't believe everything you hear, but you still believe too much twaddle. Would you like to play another round? Hello, Grandpa Jack. How are you? Everything is hunky-dory, thank you, Millie. Oh, a way through. 
Maybe this will take me under the bark. Bye bye, millimeter. Hello, Sandy Meter. Millimeter! And hello to you too, Dave. Need a bit of fresh air, do you? Oh well. See ya. Oh, Millie Vanilli's back again again. I'm going to have a look round up top. Yeah, hang loose, man. Hey, Millimeter. How nice of you to come and visit me up here in the treetop. Hello, Eric. So this is where you live. It's a long way up. And who are you? I'm a long-eared owl, that's... <laughs> Let me sleep. <laughs> it's nowhere near evening yet. aphids like that. I'm an oak bush cricket. The oak should be glad that I'm partial to aphids. Otherwise they'd suck all its leaves dry. May I take a picture of you please? But of course. How's this? Great! You've taken a picture of the oak bush cricket, a variety of grasshopper that lives up in trees. Well done, Millimeter. What's that ant doing there? It's milking the aphid. It's doing what? Oh, yes. Ants often come up here and tickle the aphids until they give up a drop of sugar juice. And ants love sugar juice. In return, the ants protect the aphids from bothersome enemies, like ladybirds. Into the leaf. See you. There's all kinds of things going on in the leaf. Careful! Don't touch anything! My inventions are all extremely sensitive. Who are you, anyway? My name's Minimeter, and I'm investigating the oak tree. A scientist! That's nice! Do stay a while, I'll show you around. I'm Lucy Lux. I'm just a bit busy, that's all. Push the switch and catch the light and open up the hatches. Pump the water, push the switch and get the light in. Build up the materials slowly and pass on the energy and pass on the energy and pass on the energy. Let's see what happens when I push this. Stop, stop! Have you gone mad? Don't touch that lever under any circumstances. Otherwise, a whole leaf will fall off. Okay, okay. But why is the lever there in the first place? Later on, in the autumn, I will drop the leaf. I don't get enough water from the frozen ground in the winter. 
so I don't have any choice. I have to shut down and discard my leaf. Hey, up there! We need supplies! How are we supposed to produce wood without the proper building materials? All right, all right. I'll send down an extra helping, OK? That was Dave from the building site under the bar. Emergency! Emergency! A caterpillar is determined to destroy all my work. I... Better call the airborne police straight away and get them to pick this blighter up. Oh, And I bet this caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly one day. I'd better get a photo, quick! Yes, yes. You'd never think so to look at them. Now you can invent something yourself. In the Woodside Workshop, you'll find everything you need to make a lovely picture. Now you can create a picture using everything that can be found in the forest. For example, using your mouth, drag the feather onto the picture. And you can even do it more than once if you want. This is how to turn a piece or enlarge it, or reduce it. If you'd like to print out your picture, click on the stamp, and don't forget to turn on your printer. Shall we get going? Then click here. Have lots of fun! out. Toodaloo! Welcome to the top of the tree. Hello, Eric. Now I'm going to fly even higher up. presumes to visit my lair in the highest tip of the treetop. My name's Millimetre, and I'm trying to save this tree. Enchanté, Mademoiselle Millie. Duke of Clawful, Harold Duke of Clawful, actually. Hawk. But why do you, of all people, want to save this tree? Twit wants to chop it down and put what he calls a perfect lawn in its place. He should just try. If you need my help, don't hesitate to ask. Mmm, an exquisite hors d'oeuvre. A tasty little bird to start with. The poor little thing! Was that absolutely necessary? Absolutely! I am a bird of prey. That's how I live. Are you trying to tell me other animals eat nothing? Yeah, this acorn's still too green. Wait! I need a photo of you. Come on, come on! The forgetful jay. <laughs> From some hidden acorns do mighty oak trees grow. Brilliant! I've got all ten photos. I'll have another look at them in a minute, and then show them to Twit. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to convince him not to cut down the tree. 
This is a suitable moment for a merry minuet, ma chère Millie. On the highermost point of the highermost tree stands the loftiest bird in the forest. That's me. Harold, Duke of Clawful, with a baleful stare, which says all you smaller creatures, beware. Well, my dear, time for a genteel game. Now listen carefully. An ornithological recital. But which bird sings which song? The birds are hidden on this side. You can only see one at a time. When you click here, you'll hear a bird song. Try and remember where which bird and where which song is hidden. When you know two that belong together, click on them one after another. OK? Then click here and off you go. The J. The brown owl. The robin. Great! You put them all together correctly. The J. The woodpecker. The robin. The brown owl. The chiff chaff. The cuckoo. Click here, you can have a look at the photos you've already collected. You can print out all the pictures and colour them in. Just drag the stamp onto the photo. Fantastic! You've got all ten photos. You may now at last be able to convince that fool twit to leave the oak tree where it is. If you want to meet him, just click here on his boot. Ah, oh, little Miss Clever Clogs. Well, why don't you show me all your pretty pictures? Uh-huh. And what sort of animals are these? First, I photographed the squirrel. It eats acorns and lives up in the tree. But, oh dear. Where's the right photo? I think we'd better give Millie a hand, don't you? Which is the right photo? Click on it. Ah, oh, yes, the squirrel. Go on. The hedgehog lives on the forest floor. The photo... Oh, prickly. Very prickly. I got a great picture of a springtail. Right, this is the last picture. A beautiful butterfly. As caterpillars, they eat oak leaves. So, that was it. Ten photos, as promised. Hmm, I see. So there really are things that live... Well, I must say, I wouldn't have thought you capable. Hmm. 
So, now you must promise to leave the old oak tree as it is. Hmm. Well, I must say you've convinced me. I shall leave the tree where it is with all its strange creatures. I'll find somewhere else for my perfect English lawn. You see. And now, I'll bid you farewell. I wish you many carefree hours with your friend, the tree. Yes! Saved! The oak stays. You did that brilliantly, Millimeter. Oh, are you leaving us for today? Or would you like to visit us again? Or play with us? OK, see you soon. Mm. There are such yummy berries in the forest. Would you like to go into the forest with me? Now I've learned to recognise lots of different bird songs. Climbing trees is such fun. I'm going to build myself a tree house. <laughs>